Welcome to my channel and my home here at Farmhouse Charlie. I'm super glad you decided to stop on by today and caught this thrift flip video where we're going to be upcycling some items that need a little TLC and are a little outdated. So before we get on into it, let me just uh, let you know what my channel is about. I love to do all the things antique farmhouse vintage farmhouse, cottage core, home decorating, upcycling, DIYing, owning and running an antique booth in a boutique, and yeah, all the things. So if that interests you, please hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below, give this video a like, share, and yeah, make sure that your notification bell is turned on so that each time I upload a video, you will be notified. All right guys, let's head on into the garage and pick out some items to upcycle. We'll do this together. And it's okay if you don't have items that are the exact same or similar, work with, the, work with what you got. And yeah, let's do this. All right guys, let's have some fun. Okay, so today we're gonna be doing a few DIYs, upcycle trash to treasures, and this is the first of the projects. So I picked up this piece actually from a pharmacy for a dollar and I'm gonna be using some iron orchid design products today and we're gonna have some fun so starting off I'm gonna just be cleaning this piece with some of my essential oil cleaner and getting it all prepped and ready to lay down some paint which I will be using uh, general finishes milk paint in I'm not sure the exact white I believe it is antique white anyways so yes <laughs> moving on we're gonna paint the whole piece and uh, keep in mind you can use whatever you have at home don't go feel like you need to go out and buy something to achieve this look or product and it it really it could be plywood it could be a sign an old sign it can be anything like I said, use what you have. It's um, economical. <laughs> so once I have painted this piece white, um, I only need one coat. I'm gonna dry it uh, because we're going to be putting some decorative napkins over this piece uh, with Mod Podge. And these are the napkins that I decided to do for the background it's going to be like a, a rustic frame you'll see as we keep going so i'm going to peel off the back layer as i'm doing here of the napkins i used four napkins in total for this and i am going to mod podge it down to the surface use mod podge on top and dry the piece with my heat gun now you can let this air dry completely natural um, or you can use a heat gun but if you're using a heat gun just I warn you to be careful and cautious and don't burn your fingertips so next I went on in and I decided I was going to paint a well, a, a rectangle really um, in the middle uh, white to just kind of keep a base for the IOD iron orchid design products that we're going to be using today in this first project so once I have it, it, it you have to just finagle it I wanted a really rustic kind of country cottage look um, to this so it's not perfect but it ends up looking really cute so for this part I am going to be using a iron orchid design mold and they have the most amazing molds um, to cast with I'm also using their air dry clay which I, I absolutely love as well and I'm going to just be using also a transfer which is from um, oh gosh I can't even remember I'll have to link it down below guys 
um, redesigns. That's it. So I chose this transfer. I laid this on top of the white paint and got to town. I got to um, uh, scraping it on down. After I did that, I varnished the piece and I got it ready for those molds, the, what I casted in the molds, I, those really cute daisies, I'm going to be placing on top and painting, but right now what I'm doing is cutting out some extra butterflies and branches to just, um, add some more interest to the piece. So I absolutely love these transfers. I, I really, I prefer iron orchid designs transfers, but this is I really wanted to go for like a summery country cottage type look and there, nothing screams country cottage more than gingham, blue gingham, and um, nature butterflies. And yeah, so I am just trying to figure out which um, butterflies I want to use at this point and I looks like I'm having a hard time. but. I get to figure it out, or I get to figuring it out, and it, I, like I said, I really enjoyed um, doing this piece, and I really was happy with the results. So, okay, now that I finally picked the butterfly out, I am going to move on to gluing down and arranging the whole piece, and what I did was I glued down those, um, Cast, casted molds that I did with the air dry clay and right now I'm just painting I'm just using acrylic paint to paint them to the desired effect that I I'm wanting so I'm painting in the circles or the in the middle of the florals um, just the yellow inner circle and then I kind of thought I was going to paint them blue, and, and anyways, they ended up white, you guys will see, but um, it was a process, so I really like how it turned out. Moving on to project number two, refinished architectural corbels. I somehow managed to misplace or lose the footage of me giving these the first coat of white paint, which I just used the general finish once again in antique white. All I did was I gave them a couple coats of the paint and let them dry in between coats and here I am just giving them a third coat and we're gonna get ready to wet distress these and get them ready to style and make look pretty. I really love architectural pieces so I'm excited to see how these turn out. Okay for the distressing of your piece Get a damp rag and start wiping down the piece and we're going to come in with some sandpaper. So this is really going to be wet and dry distressing. Uh, here I am just wiping it down, getting damp in the places that I want to be damp and I grab my sandpaper and it's 150 grit. Uh, you can use whatever you want for your piece and I just start to... Um, sanding this piece and it really is your prerogative what you are wanting as far as uh, distressed um, or <laughs> as far as how much you want your piece to be distressed it's it's really up to you so the more you distress and sand the the more underneath your underneath parts will show um, or colors will show so my undertones in this piece are the black and the gold and I wanted a, a good amount to come through um, so I'm really going for a French country kind of cottage look and I'm really going at it at this point 
Um, anyways, so, you know, I picked this up at these, I have two of these that I'm doing at Goodwill, and I, you can, these, I, they were so outdated, uh, at first, and, um, you'll see in the upcoming shots that I took of, of this piece that there is such potential in things with paint. Paint can do wonders, guys. So, here I am just wiping down the sanded uh, paint that came off from the piece, going back in with my sandpaper, and then doing the same thing, wiping it down again, and you guys kind of get the idea. So, I'm really loving how this turned out, and yeah, let's take a look, guys. It It's fun. Um, sorry for the poor lighting. I'm filming the rest of this at night for when my schedule allows, but yeah, it's, um, I'm using this and just, I'm just using this one here for now and, uh, head on over to my Instagram and check out Farmhouse Charlie and see, I'll post something of the two styles today. Project number three. We're going to be doing a cottage riser and it's going to be a fun one. Okay, so once again, I'm using the same paint I've been using all along. I had this riser out in the garage for an embarrassing amount of time. Um, let's be real. I have a lot that I need to get done, so that's just life. Anyways, okay, so I already had done a first coat on this riser and somehow just forgot about it and... Yeah, so when I went out to the garage earlier, I picked this guy up and decided to finally get it done. Okay, so now I'm just putting a second coat of the milk paint on and we're going to move on and do some stuff with some IOD products once again, guys. Okay, moving on to the next step. Okay, now we are going to distress this piece, and what I'm going to be doing again is wet distressing and dry distressing. So like we did before, just wet your piece down, and in the desired areas, I'm going to be distressing mostly all over this. So here I am, I've wet the piece, now I'm taking my 150 grit sandpaper, and I am distressing to the desired effect that I would like to have and we have Hunter here in the background he is just it's the next morning and yes I fell asleep in my clothing last night if you can see I have the same clothes on I'm gonna go change that now yes thumbs up to Hunter the photo bomber of the day he is my best friend my best buddy and it's early morning and we need We're one taking a little to potty break for the dog <laughs> We interrupt this DIY with a public service announcement that Hunter needs to use the restrooms. Okay, now that Hunter is um, all set to go, we are ready to get back to the DIY. I, uh, I just had to insert that little clip. He cracks me up. And if you notice that, yes, my hair is a mess, I have no makeup on, and it's the next morning and I fell asleep in the same clothes that I was wearing all day yesterday. So it's early morning. I'm going to finish up this DIY and then hit the showers and or get in the shower and get changed and ready for the day. But I wanted to finish this video up for you guys, so here I am, just stamping. I'm using an Iron Orchid design, an, uh, also known as IOD um, stamp from their collection. And I love this stamp. There's so many different things you can do with it. I mean, wallpaper, you can do faux wallpaper with it. You can do so many options. Anyways, okay, I added the Stays On ink to the, in Jet Black to the stamp and now with one hand I am pressing on one side and rubbing on the other so that the stamp does not end up moving while I am trying to get the impression down. Um, I've made the mistake when I was first starting to use these products by just kind of rubbing and eh, it didn't turn out good. Muddy anyways but these stamps are really amazing and easy to use. Um, you just have, just like anything, you have to use them correct. And like the IOD sisters say, um, that 
you need you know, reps you got to do your reps so practice makes well I don't think anything is perfect and I hope I don't want to be perfect but you know practice makes you better there we go we'll just say that okay so now because I'm extra yes girl I'm extra I um, decided to embellish this uh, rise a little bit more, and I really liked how it and ended up turning out with the extra embellishments. As you can see right now, what I'm doing is I am taking one of the square stamps actually and placing it on top after I've put ink on it um, on top of the round legs on the risers. So um, I just decided to play around and see what I came up with and like I said I really liked how it turned out and you know whatever you're creating it like I said it doesn't have to be the same it most likely won't um, but I just hope that <clears throat> what I have done here today has helped to inspire you to get your creative game face on and get to crafting and get to DIYing and upcycling and thrifting and finding pieces that need to be made new and given a fresh life and you know it's okay if your um, your piece doesn't turn out exactly how you wanted it to that's just fine you know what in life really ever turns out how you think it would um, but it normally things work out so just be glad that you were able to be creative and you know yeah create <laughs> there's nothing better to me than being able to create and be creative and you know use that part of my brain so here it is here's the um, the riser all finished and yeah I was pretty patting myself on the back at the moment with it about it so here it is styled and all ready to go. Um, I really enjoyed making this piece and this video. If you enjoyed watching it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Thanks so much for stopping by guys. I really hope you have a fabulous day and don't forget to go follow me over on social media on Instagram. And yeah, just remember, be kind to yourself to others and always stay beautifully unique have a great day guys thanks for watching